indigenous people of Biafra IPOP has stated that its members remain resolute in their quest to realize a sovereign nation of Biafra despite the arrest and detention of their leader Namde Kano, the head of the directorate of the group Mazi Chika Edozim said this on Thursday while addressing IPOP members across the globe. According to Edozim, their headsman Kano was criminally abducted in Kenya and illegally repatriated in Nigeria. Adding that Nigeria and Kenya have abused its human rights. The group, however, retreated that its members shall flood Abuja on July 26th for the hearing of the Biafra separatist leader. Say good evening to you, Grace Biafrans. Good morning and good afternoon to you, depending on your location time. My name is Mazi Chika Edozim. I am from Ieoma in Biafra land by the mercy and grace of Chuko Kekabiyama. Uh, I am a servant of the great and wonderful indigenous people of Biafra and the head of the Directorate of State. I wish to use this opportunity to inform the Biafran people, friends and well-wishers that our leader Oyendu Mazin Namdekano was abducted criminally in Kenya and illegally brought into Nigeria. This criminal violation of international laws was carried out by Nigeria in spite of the fact that Oyendu does not possess any Nigerian traveling documents, having repudiated any previous connection he may have had with the contraption called Nigeria, the statement read in part. The head of directorates also stated that the goal of the group is not only to create a Biafra nation of just a mere landscape, but also to seek freedom at every available time. IPOP Media and P Publicity Secretary Ima Powerful made the statement available to Sahara reporters on Thursday, saying our struggle for freedom is not just the desire to establish a geopolitical entity called Biafra. Of course, that is a fundamental objective of our self-determination struggle, but much more imperative is our hunger and thirst for true, honorable and irrevocable freedom from all manner of subjugation and oppression, freedom from every debilitating influence that retard and hindered the full realization and development of our heaven endowed talents and gifts. We pursue that freedom which a sovereign and independent Biafra nation shall provide our children and our generations yet unborn to dream big dreams and achieve those dreams in dignity and liberty, it said. With the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, led by Mazi Namdi Kanu, affirm our immutable right to determine our cultural, economic and political system as well as our right to self-determination as guaranteed and proclaimed by the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of the Indigenous Peoples of Self-Determination and Article 5, 6, 7, and 8 of the African Charter of Human and People's Rights, ratified and domesticated by Nigerian, Nigeria in 1983. In recognizing and upholding our rights as indigenous people, we made a deliberate choice of non-violent methodology to achieve our stated objective and indigenous people of Biafra. Our peaceful agitation notwithstanding, the Nigeria government continued on in that its plan to exterminate our race and take over our ancestral land and resources through the instrumentality of the Fulani estimate of the one hand and the Nigeria terrorists in uniform comprising all its security forces, the army, the navy, air force, the police, DSS, civil defense and all other of its armed agencies he said it's noted that it will henceforth use re underscore ipob does as its official medium on twitter to communicate and update via france and the world about new developments he said despite the provocations arrest and torture notwithstanding the degrading and inhuman treatment method out to be france and the cold-blooded 
murder and execution of unarmed peaceful Biafran citizens. The indigenous people of Biafra has resisted the efforts of the Nigeria government through its security agencies to compel us into violent agitation. Now by the blunder of criminally abducting the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, the Nigeria government alone shall be held responsible for the resulting consequences. It should by now have become very obvious to the Nigerian government that a state-sponsored acts of violence and terror, abductions and extrajudicial murders cannot change our resolve to extricate ourselves from the oppressive and humiliating servile existence imposed upon us by the creators of the contraption called Nigeria. We remain undaunted in our conviction. We remain resolute in our belief in the justness of our course and we shall remain focused and dedicated and be dedicated in a pursuit of freedom for the indigenous people of Biafra. The IPOP leader, worldwide family and all Biafrans must close ranks and stand behind the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Oyendu Mazin Namdekano, it is time to activate the famed discipline for which we are admired all over the world. All principal servants must adhere very strictly to a fundamental principle of command and control and apply the chain of command in the exercise of their function and duties. To the politicians of Biafran extraction, a small window of opportunity still remains for you to turn a new leaf and stand up in defense of your people because you do not have time and infinite time. Going forward, the directorate will be using the Twitter handle at real underscore IPOB DOS thus as its official medium to communicate and update Biafrance and the global family of the new developments. I will encourage everyone to follow the, mid the handle. Where well, on the 26th of July, being the dates Abuja Court or Justice Benta. Yanko has fixed hearing. All roads must lead to Binta Yanko's court, and both the Nigerian government and the court must understand that the attention of the world community is fixed upon the zoo and their legal system. Prior to this date, however, the Directorate of State demands that our leaders, personal physicians, and any other international physician put forward by the those must be granted access to him for a holistic medical examination because of his deteriorating health condition. The group, through Edozium, also pledged its solidarity to those agitating self-determination, mentioning Abanzonia and Odudua in particular.